Uh, my name is Dimitri Rusopoulos. I'm um, a resident uh, in Montreal, Canada of Greek origin. And I was an active participant and also fellow organizer of the famous uh, uh, meeting, uh, gathering in Venice in 1984. Uh, in fact, at that time, I was uh, very active uh, with Black Rose Books, the publishing company that eventually published the English-Spanish uh, edition of uh, the wonderful photographic collection of Venice, 1984. And um, what I managed to do is um, I had several meetings with um, the comrades in Milano, and we were in contact with uh, Sira in Geneva at the time. And between what we were in Montreal around the Anarchos Institute and uh, Centro Studi Libertari in uh, Milano and Sira in Geneva, we sort of gave a broad definition of what the, um, the gathering in Venice was going to be all about. One thing we made very clear from the beginning is that we didn't want to have a traditional uh, anarchist gathering. In other words, we didn't want uh, to excessively have present the established anarchist organizations in various countries. Instead, we wanted to bring in the new activists across, across the world. And in that sense, uh, Venice was very successful. It was absolutely astounding to find people who came from South Korea, Hong Kong, uh, Latin America, many Latin American countries, many European countries, etc. And I and my colleagues here in Montreal managed to get at least 12 to 15 North Americans uh, to come to Venice. And these North Americans included um, Joel Spring and Gordon Bishop, Jordan Bishop, Frank Harrison, uh, George Benello. Stephen Schechter, Bob Dottilio, John Clark, Murray Bookchin, uh, Marsha Hewitt, and uh, others. And um, for us, it was uh, an important experience, uh, very dynamic. And for me personally, uh, amongst the most interesting experiences were what happened outside of the official uh, overflowing um, meetings that took place within the uh, uh, Institute of Architecture in, in Venice. Of course, it was magnificently organized with, uh, I don't know how many hundreds of bottles of wine and uh, wonderful food to eat. And um, the public squares were filled with uh, song and dance and exhibits. It was really a very rewarding experience. And out of that, uh, we at Black Rose Books did a number of things. For instance, I had the opportunity of meeting um, uh, Mok Chiu Yu uh, from Hong Kong with his anarchist comrades there. And we put out this book at Black Rose Books, uh, which was a very revealing book of what actually happened in Tenement Square and afterwards. Uh, we also uh, had uh, inspiration to launch a French language uh, companion publishing company to Black Rose Books, Edition Eco Société in Montreal. And we published, amongst other things, George Woodcock's uh, biography of uh, uh, Peter Kropotkin. Uh, and uh, we continued to uh, do as we do today, uh, develop the theories and the ideas of uh, social ecology around Murray Bookchin. And this is a new uh, international anthology from people from various countries. Uh, some of them were in Venice uh, on Murray Bookchin called Enlightenment and Ecology. So we continue to do this kind of work in the area of ideas, the areas of publication, but we also do political work at the level of our neighborhood, at the level of our city, and intercity uh, activities. So um, we look forward now, some of us, to uh, a very interesting meeting which is being organized next year in, um, 
in the Jura district of Switzerland to commemorate again uh, the uh, uh, anarchist congress that took place uh, immediately after the Paris Commune. Uh, and many of us are going to be meeting each other before and after that event in, uh, in Switzerland. So that's the story, that's the enthusiasm around Venice in 1984. It branched out into uh, many areas. Uh, and even though it didn't exactly establish an immediate momentum after 1984, the seeds were planted and you know what? They're coming out of the soil again, they're regrowing all over the place. Certainly in Montreal, certainly in the United States, uh, areas that I'm more familiar with and in many European countries like France and Italy and you know what? Greece. Greece is at the forefront of many of these libertarian ideas and the important thing is that all of this also is uh, complemented with our connections which are quite close with the Kurdish freedom movement that is not only talking about but actually practicing some of the most interesting libertarian ideas and traditions. There you are. Salute.